What's up, YouTube? Hope everybody's having a great morning. We just waking up. Y'all understand, boy, waking up on your days off can be hard, but hey, it's, it's nine o'clock. It's still a little chilly, so hey, I got an excuse this morning. Eight fifty-nine, fact. I'm about to stop by the store. Got a half tank of gas. I don't really need no gas. I ain't got that many yards a day. I'm gonna check my um. I'm gonna check the gas on my trailer. That should be good too, because you know we always try to. Stupid. Like why would you? Why would you stop a U-Haul in the middle of the road? Like it's nine o'clock, but hey, who pissed in your Kellogg Corn Flakes? But yeah, like I'm saying, we got a few yard jobs to do today. I know we got four. We got like four jobs and two estimates. And those two estimates, one is a saw install, so the other one is a mulch install, so my minimum is four hundred dollars. Minimum, got to have your minimums, guys. So then they know, like, hey, it's gonna be a bar, it's gonna be between four and five fifty, depending on what I gotta do. You gotta let your clients know. And then I had one guy at first, I always thought I was being like worse. Than, like, I text my clients like every month and be like, hey, we're offering this this month, or we're doing that. You know, like, I, like certain seasons, I let them know we're doing leaves, we're doing grass, we're doing shrubs. I let them know that. And one client, he, he brought me to, he pulled me to the side one day, and we had a long conversation, like 15 minutes, guys, after I got done cutting the grass. And he would just tell me how professional I am, how I always show up no matter what, and even when it rains, I might try to stop. And, you know, if I can't, if it's not raining too bad, I'll still come out and cut it. So, yeah. Definitely got to reach out to him, because I'm going to be in his area today. So, yeah. It's all about being ahead of your client like seriously guys when you see something on his property or their property that you might can fix up and make look better let them know so when they get the money to do that or when they're ready to put a plug on that job project they already know because it's one thing to be like hey i'll do your shows for 80 bucks today you didn't give them time to think about it you didn't give them you know, time to prepare themselves because you don't know what the next person wallet is like. Especially nowadays with gas going up, mortgage going up, just inflation everywhere. So try to be professional and try to reach out to your clients about more than just taking their money. Like, keep them on the same schedule as you. Let them know why you couldn't do that job at that time, but you could do it now. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, guys. 2024 is going great. What I mean by great is going great. I got people still calling from yard signs and business cards I passed out when it was cold. So yeah, it lets me know they're not they 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 always are thinking about me. Because when I first passed them out, I was like, dang man, a week went by, two weeks went by, I ain't getting no phone calls. That's why people won't really spend their money then. Yeah, they see their grass high. But their pockets ain't high enough to get it good. So just remember that, guys. We at the gas station. And as you see, I, I live three minutes away from the gas station. One car. And I'm getting the hang of just towing a trailer. Like, I don't know if some people know, but if you brake too early, your horsepower is like, you're going all over the place. But I'm figuring it out. This right here is the yard of the day. This right here is the setup I'm running with. Yeah, you should already know. So yeah, starting off early. The neighbor, and I came over here already talking about. Hey man, can you cut the grass? Can you try not to put no grass in my mulch bed? 
I started to say, look, I ain't, I ain't mess with your grass. But, you know, I had to stay professional. I, could, I couldn't do it to Joseph way. I had to handle it the yard master's way. So I said, yes, sir, no problem. Which I know even whenever I do not put no grass in his mulch bed, he's still going to have a problem. But, hey, that's the part of lawn care. So y'all get ready for that. <sighs> People. But, yeah, guys. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you don't miss another great video like this. <laughs>
Alright guys. In the lawn care home. We got one more to do. We got one estimate. So let me see how far this estimate is. Fifteen, but you never know. He might get another estimate by the end. Somebody else might give him. 